Gather round, children, squeeze in close together now. There's room for everyone by the fire. And pay me close attention as I tell you the tale of two wandering spirits, of two old friends indeed. I'll tell you the story of two creatures, one dark, one light, whose names you've never heard before. It's a cold night here in the forest, isn't it? Thanks to this roaring fire, we'll probably just manage to avoid freezing to death. But this campfire is good for more than keeping off the chill. Believe it, children. Children tend to know how to trust their instincts. You young folk don't have a lot of muck and nonsense up in your heads, clouding your vision and making you miss the obvious signs and symbols that the world might be trying to show you. For instance, this forest all around us here, there isn't anything we can see to be afraid of. Yet I see that you're all somewhat inclined to crowd around this here fire, as though it could protect you from whatever lurks around us in this darkness. As though a meager pile of hardly burning logs could keep what's out there off our backs. <laughs> I think you're right to trust your instincts, friends. I don't say these things are frightening, children. From the looks on your faces, I don't, I say I don't need to try at all to scare you another bit. These woods speak loud enough by themselves, especially for young folks who know how to pay attention to the hidden spirits. Now I'm telling you these things because I think it's my job to warn you about what happened in these woods. Out here in the darkness of this very forest, almost in this exact spot where we made our camp not so many years ago. The name of the man who wandered here was Banjo Jones. He, unlike you, was an old man, wise with many years upon the earth. It is common knowledge that as a man grows in age, that man will come to believe that he has seen it all, that there is nothing left which could amaze him or turn him from his destined path. Banjo Jones was like most others in this respect, having lived his whole life within the confines of this here forest. He'd shivered through the coldest winters, he'd starved through famine and through drought, He'd even fought and killed a bear that once cornered him in this cabin. Now that bear's skin was a prize coat he wore upon his back. Banjo Jones had survived the trials of his younger age and felt certain that life had shown him all but surprises. It was a dark night, very much like this one, that taught Banjo Jones how wrong an old man could be. 